Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on money management. Today we're going to talk about why the fixed ratio method of Ryan Jones is actually safer than the Larry Williams method. As you remember, in the Larry Williams method, we had the trap. It is, it's a concept that we labeled the trap. It's, it's not an actual trap, but, um, it feels like a trap when you actually stumble upon it. So even if we had the stop loss equal to the take profit and equal to 50%, the actual effective ratio of the stop loss to take profit was always 1.5. So uh, this is an example of where you earn three units um, of currency and then on the next um, trade, if it is a loss, you actually lose 4.5 units. So that, that ratio 1.5, it can be different depending on the Larry Williams setup. But uh, the whole uh, principle of the trap was that your stop loss will always occur after your previous take profit. So even though you think that your take profit and stop loss are aligned, in act, in reality, uh, the risks are skewed towards um, the stop loss because uh, it makes sense that every next trade is going to have more and more and more volume. And therefore, whatever you earned in the previous trade, your stop loss is going to eat, uh, eat that up plus eat up more uh so covering some of the trade before that. And depending on your setup, this can um, actually cause a drastic uh, negative effect on your account. Um, a lot of traders fall into that trap. They don't don't expect it. They don't know about it. And therefore, uh, they're not prepared for um, the skewed uh, effective stop loss to take profit ratio. So let's see if we have the same trap in uh, the fixed ratio money management method by Ryan Jones. Um, let's say this is our exponential growth, which we were talking about previously. Uh, the fixed ratio method using this is what we get using the fixed ratio method. And the um, trade that I've outlined with uh, red. Let's say we didn't earn a profit there, but let's say we earned. Uh, so we got a loss on that trade. Um, so we got up to here. And then instead of earning a profit like that, it, the trade brought us a loss. Well, because we're, we've kind of um, agreed in this example that the step stop loss equals to the take profit, what's going to happen is we're going to lose money. But because we're trading with the same volume as on the previous trade, we're actually going to lose exactly the same amount of funds that we earned in the previous trade. So minus two units. Um, so what does that mean? That means that um, the effective stop loss to take profit ratio is equal to one. So uh, just to reiterate how we get this ratio is we look at the stop loss that we incurred in the current trade and divide by the take profit of the previous trade. So two units on this trade of, uh, uh, so we lost two units on this trade and we earned two units on the previous trade. So that's equal to one. And it's also backed um, by the visual. You can see that we got back exactly to the level at which we were uh, not on the previous, not after the previous trade, but after the one before. Um, so let's go back to the overall um, visualization. So you can see that this ratio applies uh, on this um, trade. It also applies on this trade. It also applies on this trade. However, on the trade before that, if it were a loss, we would actually lose two units as opposed to the one unit that we earned on the trade before that. And that's because um, this trade that's highlighted in red represents the first trade of this step. So once we conduct a step, obviously we increase a lot. And if that first trade within the step is a loss, and of course it's going to be uh, like larger than the profit that we earned um, at the end of the step before that. Um, so in this case, uh, the ratio is two, but for the other three, the ratio was one. Um, so this is actually in itself already more favorable than uh, the Larry Williams example that we had uh, where the ratio was 1.5. Because if you apply probabilities here, then you have 3 to 1 chance of getting um, a ratio of 1, an effective stop loss to take profit ratio of 1, and you only have 1 out of 4 chance, or 1 to 3 chance of uh, getting a stop loss to take profit effective ratio of 2. Uh, and if you average that out, it go, it works at 1.25. But we're not going to get into that mathematical detail. What I wanted to show you is that, um, 
so for every non-first step or for every non-first trade within a step the ratio is always going to be equal to one but even for the first uh, trade of every step if you look at the next one it's actually three units of loss that are like three units of potential loss versus two units of profit on the previous trade. And then if you look at the next one, it's four versus three. So the ratio is going down. So it was two, then it became 1.5, then it's going to become 1.3 and so on. So what that shows us is that within a step, any trade except for the first one carries a effective stop loss to take profit ratio which is equal, which is exactly what you're expecting. So if you set your stop loss to equal take profit, it, the ratio is going to be one. If you set your stop loss to be twice as large as you take profit, the ratio is going to be equal to two. But for every first trade in each step, this ratio is actually going down. So overall, this method is much less riskier. There is a much less, lesser chance of you falling into a trap, if we can call it that in this case. And, um, even if you do, the effect stop loss to take profit ratio won't be that uh, high and won't eat into your account that much, especially if you're further down uh, the track in this uh, fixed ratio money management method. And that highlights and illustrates that um, the fixed ratio trading method is safer than the Larry Williams method. That's all for today. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy trading.